We're going to get this show started. Uh, this next comic, his name, I'm not going to give you his name right now. I'm going to give you what he told me to tell you about it. He is uh, fresh out of prison. Um, he assaulted a clown with a baby stroller, but he has done his time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the very funny Chris Holiday. Thanks, everybody. It's good to be out of the joints for sure. You may or may not believe this, but my name actually is Chris Holiday, and um, I want to let you know I've actually got a movie coming out I wanted to plug. It's called Holiday in Africa, and Africa's a really great performer and a great actress. <laughs> really great chemistry, um, so watch for it. And we're actually filming the sequel, Holiday in Africa's Ass. <laughs> which is really good also, so keep an eye out. I, I got in an argument with my buddy the other day. He's like, dude, I have an ass fetish. I was like, no, you don't. Everybody likes asses. He's like, no, dude, I like them big, and I like them a lot. I was like, I like vaginas a lot, not big, but I don't have a vagina fetish, I'm a straight guy. Some guys like cock, they don't have a penis fetish, they're homosexuals. That's who they are, it's what they like, and more power to them. He's just like, I got an ass fetish, dude. So I was like, I'm gonna break it down for you. A fetish is when you are sexually attracted to something that is not fundamentally sexual, which is why I consider myself a Joan Cusack fetishist. I don't know what it is, you know, I just... It's like a scratchy voice, and a mousiness. I bet you're a freak. <laughs> but aside from Joan Cusack, I mean, I'm really, like, not into anything too weird. Um, but, I was reading about a girl who's a grammar fetishist. And so, she makes her lovers say things grammatically incorrectly. And then she gets off on correcting them in the sack. And I'm like, I don't know that. I won a couple spelling bees when I was a kid. I think, um... So, i am uh, come up with a few phrases when the opportunity presents itself. I'll be like, where are your clitoris at? Don't dig in your participles, you piece of shit! <laughs> where at in your clitoris? Like, the only girl in the world that doesn't care if you don't know where the clit is, as long as you ask properly for it. <laughs> I'm gonna bone you good. You're gonna bone me well or not at all, you piece of shit! <laughs> well, irregardless, I'm gonna bone you. And then when things really start heating up, I'm gonna be like, Girl! I ain't gonna be done till they done with you till you done made cannings on the deuces up in the For real. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> I can. Imagine if Joan Cusack was a grammar fetishist. <laughs> I think that's that she looks like John, kind of. That's probably part of it. Probably a lot of it. Um, I've been really angsty and like angry lately, and I don't know why, and it's been coming out in strange ways. Um, I wrote my first angry email to a corporation recently. And I'm not proud, but I want to share it with you anyway. Um, some of the phrases in it, I'm actually not able to say aloud, so I need some help. My, that was awkward, sorry about that. Okay, so... Move the table. Um, so, subject, this is Live Nation Ticketing Corporation. Subject, just wanted to write to say, you, you mother holes. I just bought an $18 ticket and then paid nine ing dollars in service charges, 50% ing mark of. See, it's terrible, I can't believe I wrote this. And for what? I had to print the ing ticket out myself. You didn't even do that. I suppose you're in competition with Ticketmaster. Congratulations, you won in terms of who's a bigger piece of turd. I can say turd, that's good. <laughs> you all can eat my and choke on my giant fucking. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, not again. You 
you all can eat my and choke on my giant cock. Cock. Uh, and if I had my way, I would bend you all over and you with a porcupine while your grandmother's watch. It's terrible. I don't know where it comes from. It's pent up, misplaced aggression. But I feel like I made a, I really made, you know, some kind of uh, impact because they wrote me back. They were like, we will do our best to personally address your inquiry in a timely manner. <laughs> Please visit our online FAQ at livenation.com slash help. So, you know. There you go. It was worth it, after all. Um, any of you guys ride the bus? Yeah, bus! I fucking love that shit! Woo! I do really like riding the bus because, um, it gives you a lot of time to just kind of sit and think and like wonder about stuff. Like I wonder, like if you took a vagina and smushed it right up against a frozen flagpole in the winter, like would it get stuck? <laughs> and perhaps more importantly, do I know any girls who would try that on a double dog dare? <laughs> no. No. That's not but I wonder if, if guys with one ball had the nickname Psycrotch. <laughs> that would be my nickname, that's what I do. I was wondering, um, I used to wonder, I used to wonder what happens to all the t-shirts that they make for the losing Super Bowl team? Because I have to have them already. Like, where are all the, you know, Super Bowl champion Indianapolis Colts t-shirts? And my friend told me that they send them to developing nations to clothe the naked or whatever, um, which is good. And I realized, like, there's some dude in Kenya who thinks the Buffalo Bills have the greatest dynasty in NFL history. And he's got the t-shirts to prove it. And I don't know what I was. I would be like, does Planned Parenthood have, like, a rewards program? A little punch card tank business? I mean, you can want your customers to come back, right? You need to give incentives. Um, these are the things I think about on the bus. I guess I ride it too much, apparently. <laughs> I also wonder, uh, this pop, this thought like pops in my head all the time. Like, how many times can you become a born again virgin before God's just like, that was your last chance, slot? <laughs> Sorry. That's it. That's all that you get. I like dead hookers because they didn't get ticklish when you snort coke off their penises. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? Did I say penises? <laughs> I meant labia. Oh, sorry, the lights get like really right up here sometimes. And then, sometimes I have. Um, I used to wonder, this is my final thought for you, I used to wonder what would happen if you took just like a giant cart full of Sudafed up to the cash register at Walgreens, and then I did it, and he was going to call the cops like right away. And I was like, hey man, I got a lot of sick kids, alright? A lot of sick kids. <laughs> and they need meth to feel better, alright? <laughs> took them up a big tasty batch of meth. And he's like, oh, that's cool, dude. All right, sweet. Which was rad, because I don't even have any kids. <laughs> and now I have a lot of math. <laughs> Thanks, you guys have been awesome. Thank you guys for